Hi, this is Kev with KGM GM Owner Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com and join for free today and start advertising for free. Yesterday was the first day since I started making videos that I did not do one. And the biggest reason was because the season didn't end till so late in the evening. And then it was clogged. I couldn't get the, the rewards to open up. And then one thing led to another and it got late. And then I was like, well, I'm going to make a video in the morning. So I might as well just wait till the morning. And um, I got good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is prices are up, uh, at least for the time being. They, they shot up last night. And um, it might be because it's the end of the season or it might be all the announcements for the, uh, the nodes that I'm still trying to figure out what exactly that is. Uh, but anyway, so I'm just going to combine the yesterday's video with today's video and let's get, oh, something else. Take note, if you complete a quest and you're silver one and you're going to wait for the uh, season, don't do that because the season resets you, which set, in other words, I, I went from four silver one chest down to one bronze three or bronze one big difference huge and here's a perfect example let's go and open today's quest you know and and the usual getting your butt kicked at the end of the season is in i went down from 900 to 553 it took me that long to get five plus it's not my most powerful as deck so it didn't help but um so i'm only getting one chest now and it's a card so not bad not bad at all. I think I got a, so I only got a potion yesterday, but with the four silver one, it would have been a lot better. Now I got 18 chest and I'm going to go ahead and open it. This is for the new season. And, uh, it wasn't anything spectacular, uh, but let's reveal them all. A lot of potions, a couple rare cards. Nothing high in DC, a lot of just low DC. And I got a lot of the Pelicor Bandit. No gold, no legendaries. Uh, so it is what it is, but that's what I got. So not a anything to write home about, but it did increase my overall asset value. So let's go ahead and open the pack up. And oh, and the pack yesterday I didn't get anything either. I got I got a rare card in all commons, and it was a very cheap rare card at the moment. So here's the pack. I couldn't even get the pack to open last night. Uh, it was so clogged up. It kept saying, giving me that uh, kept giving me that notice that come back later. So here we are. You get five cards in a pack. Okay, and if it glows, you're guaranteed a rare or better. So these are two are rares or better. Uh, these are three rares of common, but you're guaranteed a rare or better. And with potions, I'm going to use two potions per card, one for gold, one for legendary. And that should double my chance. You don't have to have potions to open a pack. So there's the three commons. None of them are gold. I have really fallen in love with the uh, the reach ability. So here's the first rare. That's that's a good one. It gets two attacks around. And there's another one. Okay, so no gold, no legendaries, and no summoners. Those are the three that I want in every pack. But I did get two rares. So let's close that out. And as you can see, I used up half my potions. So uh, getting back to the season, okay, um, yeah, that's what happened. So like I said, it was getting so late. I said, well, I'll just make today's video instead of making two, one right after the other. Um, let's go look at the numbers. This is the good news. Uh, this is day, I believe, 105. Let me change that. And I've bought 125 packs because I bought two more today. So anyway, $10,000 challenge, not sponsored by Splinterlands. is something I'm doing on my own. 
Here's the rules on how I go by. You can pause them and read them. Uh, I inserted another $10 like I do every other day. I got a total out-of-pocket expense investment of $644. My goal is to pay myself back by January 2nd of next year and have $10,000 asset value. So let's see how I'm doing. Here's the date that I started videotaping, which was the 7th of uh, February. Number of cards, the value, the PowerPoints, the free SPS, and then the profit. Okay? That's after I pay myself back. So in other words, I would have paid that, that whatever that was at the 7th. When I start. Now, I was doing it a different way then. So I just started with the total and add ten dollars because I was doing monsters and then packs and then toke and then uh, potions. So I said, "Look, I'll just give myself ten dollars. Whatever I do with it, it doesn't matter. It's a lot simpler that way." It was getting very confusing the other way. Uh, so I, every other day, I just put in ten bucks. But as you see, the the profit came down. The market plummeted. Um, the SPS maintained, but the only thing going up pretty much was my collecting power. Okay, I did hit an all-time high of 860, I think right there, of asset value. And that, I think that was also my all-time profit, 424. Excuse me. Let's see. All right, okay, here we are, 16th. Okay, so big jump in the market, $30 jump. 790 asset value. I got 122 cards with 1530 in the box. That means I've burnt. That's what I've taken out of circulation and and combined to make just 122, which makes your cards more rare and valuable as well as mine, but it makes my cards more valuable. As you can see, I got a 86013. This is the number you want going up all the time. Now, I have a changed strategies and sold up sold off some expensive cards and now it's coming back up so i got an all-time high of that of 88 88 618 i think is the high uh new high on the sps which ties yesterday's it was up to 13 cents i think it was at a quarter when i joined and it was all-time high of 80 cents this number should be going up every day so i've got See how I jumped in just the last few days? You got to be patient when you're building this. And by me making a video every day, you can see what I did right or wrong every day. And I can see how people, you know, they panic sell. Remember, buy low, sell high, hodl. So I'm in the, the buying low and hodling stage. And then I look for things that have skyrocketed 30% or more and I sell them. So, uh, it's just going to take time, but with this number going up, means I'm going in the right direction. Now, after I pay myself back, I would walk away with $245 profit before taxes. Doesn't sound like a lot, and it's not, but for as bad as things are, and I'm showing a profit, why I'm spending money, it's incredible. It, it it's absolutely backs up of what I'm trying to do. Now... There's a lot of ways to make money in this site. Here's the thing. I'm not a financial advisor. Listen to me at your own risk. This is for entertainment purposes only. But down below is a link you can join. It's through the affiliate program that I got with uh, Splinterlands. And I've actually got a couple signups the last couple days. And, and if you do this, what they give you is they give you a URL with your ID embedded and you just send it out to people. I, I do it through my free advertisement site, pro advertisers club, uh, and other sites, but, and then the videos, people join up while watching my video. Um, if they don't do anything, don't, that's affiliate marketing. You'll get tons of, some of these could be bots that just sign up. They do it automatically. And if, they're not doing anything. Don't worry about it because the ones that are human might one day come alive. You want to collect as many signups as you can. That's about as simple as I can put it with affiliate marketing. But on an average, you're going to get one out of every 20 signups that actually do anything. I don't know if that's the true number, but that's the way it is. So, But you get 
of the Spellbook purchase and of all packs that they buy in the future. All right. That's from Splinterland pays that, not you. Just come out of your own pocket. Now, um, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Oh, uh, it's it's the spell book. You have to buy the spell book in order to open up the entire platform. You can play for free. You can join for free and play for free. The link's below, and there's other links down there. Any of them you join really helps me out, and I appreciate it. But um, if you join for free, you can play with the free cards they give you. But to open up the entire platform, you buy a one-time fee, $10 spell book. It's a lifetime membership once you pay that and you're done. And you never have to spend another dime. Now, you're probably going to want to because why? It speeds it up when you're buying cards. And if you're good at it, it's not going to cost you anything. If you go in the market and you buy and sell when they're, you know, buy high, sell low. I know I try to make it sound simple, but if you keep it that simple, it's a lot easier because you can make this game as complex as you want. So anyway, the affiliate marketing's one way. The other, another way is the daily quest, okay, and the higher up you go, the better the rewards get, and then at the end of the season, like I was silver one, and I got 18 chests, so those are two ways right there that you're going to build it up without, you know, just playing the game, just, and it takes time. If you're not going to spend any money in the platform, it's going to be a real slow process, but if you're patient. It will come. Now, if you got money, you want to buy packs or you want to do the market, that's going to be good for you, especially now with the prices so low. You know, if it was at all time high, I'd probably say stay away from the market unless you can get it at a discount. But everything's at record lows, like everything else around in crypto. So there's another way. Let's talk DEC. There's three ways that I use to make DEC. There's more than that, but the biggest uh, the biggest three is renting. You rent your cards out. People pay you in DC. Now, when you're renting them out, you can't use them or sell them, but that's fine. It's like it's a rental property at that point. You win DC when you're battling. For each battle you win, and you're a bronze two or higher, you win DEC. You get DC in the rewards. So there's three ways, and then the market. There's four, okay. Um, let's go to the free SPS they're giving out for another hundred days. Right now, you can stake it at twenty-five percent APR. That's incredible. Uh, up here, they're dropping it every day. Every day, they take a snapshot. They go by the total collection power okay <clears throat> and when you uh, at 11 they'll put the SPS here the free SPS and then you can claim it and it transfers it over here and then from there you can stake it and as you can see I just claimed it a few minutes ago and I've already gotten 0 .008 of free SPS on the staking so there's two ways to get free SPS right now. One is from the airdrop, the daily airdrop, and that ends in 100 days. Excuse me. And then the um, staking. So take advantage of it while you can. Let's go to the shop. Here's where you buy the packs. Every million packs, they do an airdrop of legendary cards. We got 788,000 more to the next drop, and there's only, I think there's only 6 million, there's about 7 million left, okay? They dropped a whole lot of packs on purpose because the, the uh, player base grew so fast, they wanted to make sure there was packs available for everybody for a while. That diluted the market, then we got hit hard with the market dropping as it is. So it's been a double whammy on the market. But for new people like me, it's been a godsend because I am buying my cards. I am getting my cards at rock bottom prices. So on each airdrop, I was not eligible for the first three because I hadn't bought any packs. This one, I bought 32 packs. Didn't get anything. 32 packs. I won two. Two uh, of these 
legendaries. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six more drops. And it does, it's a small percentage for each pack you own. So theoretically, I could win 125 legendaries. Mathematically, I'm probably not going to do that, but it's a possibility. Okay, so let's go back. That's only if you buy packs, though. If you don't buy packs, you can't get that. Down here, the vouchers. The vouchers are always going to be valuable for something. They just came out with this nodes, validators. Um, in order to buy them, you're going to need 500 vouchers. This is for the big boys, okay? And when I say big boys, I mean big girls. I mean big people, you know, the big money people. Um, they're going to need 500 vouchers each for each purchase. And from what I can tell and from what I understand from other YouTubers, there's not enough vouchers to go around. So even if at the moment you own a voucher, it's not being used for anything, hang on to them because they're, they're expecting this to go up to $10 a piece, 15 and I'll probably sell mine. But you can also use them to get in early on pack buying, which I'm not interested in that. I, I, I will probably hang, uh, sell mine and buy cards with it. So there's another way that you're going to... Now, they, the way they figure it out is through the number of SPS that you staked is determines... And they're only giving 20000 a day away amongst everybody. So that's not a lot. That's not a lot at all. Okay, so in the land, zero plots left. They sold out. But here's the new, the good thing about the lands. You can craft items, spells, item cards and spell cards. Okay? So you're going to need cards to work the land, which means they're going to make all the old cards relevant instead of just, you know, collectibles and good investments. And only the people on the land can sell them. Splinterlands will not be selling them in packs or anything like that or making them themselves. They gave it to the people. So uh, if I want anything, I'm going to have to go to somebody who owns that land and buys it off them until I can buy my own land, which eventually you'll be able to buy it right here. And in the market. So I can't wait. Uh, I missed out on the last land pass out, whatever it's called. Um, so that's good news. The potions. You buy potions here. And I use these two. I haven't used this one yet. I was just about to use it. Probably if I get to gold, uh, you get five extra chest on a quest. And that's changing because the quests are changing. And then you can buy skins here. And that they're just cosmetic um, investment, but you get extra SPS from owning one. So, depending on what your strategy is. So, let's go the cards. You also have the arena that you do battles in. You can make money that way, and you can join a guild. And both of them give you a percentage. So, you might. Uh, Capture rate, 53.73. That's because I got my ass kicked forever this morning. And I so I ate up half my capture rate. But if you use a gold card, you get 10% bonus per each gold card. That's why my strategy has gone gold. Then if you belong to a guild, you get a percentage. If you use a certain kind of card, you get a percentage. Uh, so that's extra ways to get your bonuses up is joining a guild. I have not done so yet. I probably won't join one. I was actually thinking about joining one at Silver. So, soon. I'll be in one soon. But anyway, here's the free cards with the S on it. Everybody gets that to play with. But let's go to my owned. And what I'm going to show you here is why you want to burn cards. Okay? You don't have to. But I'm a burnaholic. So here's these are the cards I own. And you see if it's got a red flag down, it's how many I own. I own two of these. Now, you see where this one's a second level? I've burnt cards to make that a second level. This one's still first. So what I'm going to do is go into here. And in the box, I have three cards. And I need two more to get to second level. 
So I'll be one card away from second level when I burn these. And all you do is click on that combine cards. Now what this is doing, because these are all NFTs, is burning these cards and creating a new one. So what I've just done is taken one card out of circulation, which makes your card more valuable and more rare. And it makes mine more powerful, or at least one card towards being more powerful. And then it combines the prices. This is just a common, so not very expensive right now. So when I get one more, I'll be second level. There's 151,000 in circulation. Every day, people are burning and doing what I just did. So every day, there will be less. Now, there might be more initially because people are still opening packs, and this is a Chaos Legion card. So that's how that works. Now let's go to this market. And this is where it's really amazing. You're going to get these cards, and as you're hanging on to them, if you sell them, you're, you, you, you lose that. Okay, what do I got? I got two notices here all of a sudden. You're going to get, um, if you're just sitting on the cards, you know, battling, renting them out, holding on to them, which is holding. Uh, this is what it was doing last night. I couldn't even get in. I could not even get into the store. It was just a nightmare. Usually it's like that on the, in the beginning of a season or the end of a season. So here we are in the market. I was buying cards last night for a penny. Uh, where can you buy an NFT for two cents right now? These are the floor prices. These are all reward cards mixed in with all. There's a total of the regular foil in existence, 477 cards. So these are the, from the cheapest to the most expensive. There's a million cards in circulation. They're about to retire these reward cards and come out with new ones. As soon as they do that, this number will start to come down because why? There's no more cards being put out. And the reward cards are one in the chest. That's the only place you can get them other than the market. Okay? But you can win them in the chest. So people are going to be burning and combining, and this price will go up, and they'll get more rare. So let's just look at the reward cards. You can see exactly where they retired the last ones. There's six out this time. So there's five, six. Here, here it is. <clears throat> All of a sudden, there's 300,000 of these down from a million. They're worth seven cents. And that number is only going to get lower. And they, they move in position because of what people are charging on the floor. But as you see on each retirement... Now there's only 103,000, 17 cents. And they go less in circulation and more valuable. So let's go look at the most valuablest rewards card that people got for free just for playing the game. And let's see where that's at. There's only 106 reward cards of all time. And it's this guy right here. Now he's down. He was up more, or maybe he's up. I can't. I can't remember what the price. But anyway, it's $100 for this car. That's the cheapest one. There's only 29 people willing to sell it. And there's only 2,248 in circulation. So that's going to get less and less. Now, the less cards in circulation, the less people will burn because they're more expensive. But it does happen. So the longer you hold on to the card, the more valuable and rare it's going to get. Let's go look at the gold legendary reward cards. These were cards. There's only 16 of them in existence. They were getting these cards for free. $8,000, only 69 left, three people willing to sell it. So there, there's the proof of what I said is true. Okay. Here's peak monsters. You go through the market to get to here. Um, I've got it on rental. So let's take that off but this is how I'm transparent this does all the adding up for me and uh, it's come down seven dollars since I started the video but this will fluctuate all day long seven hundred eighty three dollars is my asset value eighty six one three eight that went up because of the pack opening there's the rental DC I'm making a day which I take that DC and I buy what more cards 
I'm keeping SPS and I'm spending my DEC. You can do whatever you want. But anyway, that's it for today. I just wanted to catch up. Uh, yeah, so I did not make a video yesterday. It was the first time. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Join the links below and follow me and see how I do because even if you never join, you can see what I did right or wrong. Uh, you can see if I crash and burn. Um, what I do does not mean what you'll do, of course, because you might do a lot better. You might already be thinking, I'll do this different. And guess what? You can. You can do it any way you want. So thank you and have a nice day.